And welcome to this Trinity initial grade song, Helen Gully Rider, a traditional Jamaican song from the Trinity initial grade 2016 to 2019 series. An interesting feature of this song uh, is its uh, typical kind of call and response. So each time we have a little phrase, we get a little response which keeps uh, repeating after each phrase. So it gives a really nice effect and we're going to look at the dynamics to help that work as well. Uh, the song is not played too fast. We've got uh, an andante uh, walking pace uh, tempo mark, uh, four beats in a bar and so uh, it's really just a case of counting this mixture of quavers and the uh, crotchets that are being played here. So the first thing to look at immediately is the first note is high G, uh, but it's played with finger one. So remember that uh, on guitar music that's printed like this, uh, the numbers relate to finger numbers, not fret numbers. So it's note G, you always look at the note first and then look to see which finger we play. So as you can see, I've got finger one on a high G and I've got three of those, it goes G, G, G. And then we've got finger three playing fret five, you can see there, which is a high A. So we've got G's to A's. So having a look at those, I play G, 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 A, G, E. Okay, so I'll play that just a little bit faster to help us get the rhythm. Counting in half beats for the quavers. One and two and three, four. There we go. So we get a nice rhythmic effect and I'll play it a bit louder because then we'll hear what the phrase afterwards sounds like. Three, four. So our left hand goes down to note C, which is fret one on string two, as you can see. And we play this P piano. Now the rhythm of this part, I'll play it because it's easier to hear it and then play it rather than count it at the moment. C, 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 C. Okay, so that goes one and two and three, rest. That's the rhythm of those notes. I'll play them again. C, 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 C. And you can see on the final note, there's a little dot above it, which means a staccato, which means play it short. So we get C, 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 C. And to achieve a staccato, I'll do it on an open string E. You can see that all I've done, I, whatever finger I use, I just put my next finger on the string. I don't try and replay again, it's quite fast to do that with one finger. So don't try to do that, just keep walking your fingers and put the next finger down. So let's listen to bars one and two and see what this sounds like. Three, four. One and two and three, four. Okay, and that rhymes with the words hill and gully, I think, uh, from the song. We get a repeat. Uh, of that phrase, so we get C, 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 C. Now on beat four, we get two quavers, so we get four and C, D, E, C, A, G. Okay, so I'll play bar four and bar five together. Three, four, C, 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 C. see how the two, uh, the next phrase uh, starts off in bar four and then moves into bar five. We finish off with C, 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 and then we get our quavers, C, D, moving in to bar seven. C, D, E, C, A, A, G. The two quavers there for the A, A's. see now we get this uh, call and response effect with the CCCCs. Um, the thing really to do is to remember your dynamics to make sure your first phrase is always loud and then the CCCC phrase is always quiet. 
that will take us to bar 11, so we get again. That's the start phrase, C, 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 rest. course you're adding in the rests to make uh, a good effect of separating out the phrases. Um, the best advice uh, I give in this song uh, is go slow to start with and make sure you hear these rhythms. You can hear them from this uh, demonstration or from the audio tracks that I've put on the page as well. Um, so you can actually hear the song Or really then you want to take it up to a, a faster tempo always practice slowly say the note names and if you can count one and two and three four one and two and three four and then on beat four we've got the rest um, so I hope this has been a useful video for you uh, take your time, work through each little section best you can uh, and listen to the audio tracks and my demonstration to help you see how the song all fits together.